So this year is the 20th anniversary of the first democratic election in South Africa and South Africa has really come a long way since then. Um, its citizens' standards of living have improved dramatically and access to health and education also has improved significantly. The big challenge still is unemployment. Still about a quarter of uh, South Africa citizens that are without a, a job. Two decades after its first democratic election, South Africa remains one of the continent's leading powerhouse economies. But the recent global economic slowdown threatens to undermine some of this progress. We think that at the moment there are some structural impediments that are holding back growth and jobs. Uh, one key uh, issue is increasing energy availability, uh, also improving industrial relations and accelerating implementations of some of the reforms in the National Development Plan. However, there are promising signs of better growth for 2015, according to the International Monetary Fund. Some of the most recent data points have been quite encouraging, signaling a recovery from the strikes earlier in the year. However, we do still see growth as fairly subdued, and we're projecting 1.4% growth for this year and 2.1% for next year. Fortunately for South Africa's case, much of the underlying problems are policy-related and can therefore be addressed through the democratic political process. Good evidence that the country's 20-year experiment with mass democracy is truly paying off. Brendan Pastor, South South News, New York.